Welcome to Research World. In this video lecture, we will discuss about commonly asked questions in hypothesis testing. In a scientific context, hypothesis is a testable statement about the relationship between two or more variables or a proposed explanation for some observed phenomenon. A statistical tool that is used to identify if the results of an experiment are meaningful or not. Hypothesis testing provides a way to verify whether the results of an experiment are valid. The null hypothesis is the hypothesis to be tested for possible rejection under the assumption that it is true. It is denoted by H0. The alternative hypothesis is complements the null hypothesis. It is denoted by H1. Type I error. The acceptance of H1 when H0 is true is called type I error. The probability of committing type I error is called the level of significance and is denoted by alpha. Type 2 error. The acceptance of H0 when H0 is false is called type 2 error. The probability of committing type 2 error is denoted by beta. Confidence level refers to the percentage of probability or certainty that the confidence interval would contain the true population parameter. When you draw a random sample many times, the confidence level in hypothesis testing is the probability of acceptance of null hypothesis H, not when the null hypothesis is true. Confidence limits are a pair of numbers used to describe an estimate or other characteristic of a population. They are the upper and lower boundaries of confidence intervals 1. Anywhere you calculate a confidence interval, e.g. effect sizes non-centrality parameters risk ratios. A confidence interval, in statistics, refers to the probability that a population parameter will fall between a set of values for a certain proportion of times. The 95% confidence interval is a range of values that you can be 95% confident, contains the true mean of the population. Statistical power measures the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis H0 when the null hypothesis H0 is false. One tail test. If the alternate hypothesis gives the alternate in only one direction, either less than or greater than, of the value of the parameter specified in the null hypothesis, it is called a one-tailed test. Critical value CV are the boundary between non-significant and significant results in a hypothesis test. P-value is the probability of observing the data if the null hypothesis is true. A smaller P-value means a higher chance of rejecting the null hypothesis. The critical region is that the region in sample space in which, if the calculated value lies, then we reject the null hypothesis. The z-test is also a hypothesis test in which the z-statistic follows a normal distribution, used to analyze whether two population means are different or not, when the variances are known, and the sample size is large. The z-test is best used for greater than 30 samples, because under the central limit theorem. t-test, in statistics, a method of testing hypothesis about the mean of a small sample, drawn from a normally distributed population, when the population standard deviation is unknown. 